All right, so we're back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can use the YouTube data API to rate videos. So like and dislike them or remove the rating. Now this endpoint will require authorization. So you cannot uh, use the API key for this. You need to actually use the access token. Now, again, if you don't know how to get the access token, the video that I made previous to this one, the one where we uh, worked with uh, subscriptions, how to insert or how to uh, subscribe and unsubscribe from a channel using the API. Uh, I showed you how to set up the uh, OAuth 2 stuff. Well, I showed you how to create the project and I showed you how to, you know, configure the uh, the consent screen, the OAuth consent screen, and how to, you know, place the uh, client ID and the client secret. But the other videos where I showed you how to set up OAuth 2 with Google shows you how to actually set everything up and code everything out so that you can actually get the access token. So before you watch this video, please go ahead and check those videos out. Otherwise, you're going to get uh, some issues. But if you know what you're doing, just simply copy the code that I'm going to have linked in the description. And all it's going to do is it's just going to integrate. It's just going to set up the Google OAuth 2 integration on your local host. You'll still have to configure the project yourself, but you don't have to write, write out the code. And once you log yourself in using Google, you'll be able to see the access token in the logs. Okay, and, and again, like I said, disclaimer, we're only doing it this way for tutorial purposes just to see how we can use the YouTube Data API. Okay, it's not what you'd actually do in a real application, but you can take what you're learning from this video and apply it to an actual real application. That's the whole purpose of this video. So you just want to add that disclaimer so that people don't get confused or uh, don't get mis misleaded. Anyways, so uh, this the endpoint requires authorization and it requires one of the following scopes, at least one of them. And we already have this uh, scope right over here. We went ahead and configured that, or not configured, we added that right over here in the strategy options. So, uh, and any scope that you wanna add, you just add that as an extra element and just paste in the link over there very easily, okay? So, because we have that scope already, we don't need to change our access token. It's the same one that we used in the previous video. Um, but let's go ahead and copy this URL and let's go ahead and try to rate a video. So I'm going to go ahead and open a new tab, paste this uh, link, and I'm going to go ahead and select the post method. And for the parameters, we're going to need the ID parameter. And this is going to be the video ID. Of, uh, this is going to be the ID of the video that is going to be rated or have its rating removed. And then we need to pass in a second parameter. And these are, again, these are query parameters, okay? The second parameter is going to be what you want to actually do. So whether you want to dislike, like, or uh, remove the rating, okay? So uh, to get the ID of a video, it's actually very easy. Um, you can just look at the address bar and uh, just copy the ID right over here. Of course, if you wanted to do it programmatically, you would have to, you know, search for video and then get the ID of that video and then pass it in as an API call, right? You can do it that way if you want to, but I'll just do it manually because again, we're just doing it for tutorial purposes. So I'll copy this ID right over here. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the ID to this, okay? And then I think it's rating was the uh, parameter name. And we'll do like, let's go ahead and, uh, so I don't have my, authorization token so it's going to give us an error so let's go ahead and just grab that real quick I'm just going to copy this okay and now this should work it gives us a 204 which means that everything worked fine and now if i were to refresh this page uh, let's see if i were to refresh this page you should see that there is the like, and I did not do anything else. I don't have any other tabs. Some of you might think, oh, like I probably liked it on a different screen. No, I'm not. Look at my cursor. Uh, like just look right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlike it. So dislike, and you can see my cursor still here. Okay, nothing's being cut out. I'm gonna refresh. And you can see that it's now disliked. I'm not sure why it still shows a like though, uh, but that should, that probably hasn't updated yet. Okay, and I can also remove it by using none. And I'm going to go ahead and click send. And then I'm going to refresh. 
and you're gonna see that it gets removed which is great and you can see that it's working okay it works perfectly and you can use this to like literally any video that you want so for example uh, if I wanted to see if I want to search for Joe G and I'm gonna go ahead and just let me see if I could just do this I'm gonna I'm not gonna play the video but I'll just go ahead and uh, Gotta make sure the video doesn't play, otherwise I'll probably get copyrighted. But I have my sound muted, so don't worry. But let's just use this as an example. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this ID, paste that right over here, and you can see that the video is not does not have any rating from me. Click send. Okay, perfect. Let's refresh, and you can see that. Uh, let's see what's going on. Oh, whoops! I forgot to change it from none to like okay, there we go refresh the page you can see that it's now been liked let's do dislike refresh the page you can see that now it's a dislike and if i want to do none to remove the rating if i refresh the page it'll go ahead and remove it so there you go. That's how you can use the API to programmatically like, dislike, or remove ratings uh, from a video. So hopefully this video made sense. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.